Lots of YouTubers create their channel by summarizing the information that's in other long, long videos. For example, videos that are on health and wellness sometimes can be very long. Andrew Huberman might have a two to three hour video. And so people cut those up into shorts, they cut them up into summaries. But with AI, you can do that even faster and not just cut up the video, but actually make it your own. Hi, I'm Prof C. I talk about generative AI, and today I'm going to do just a little quick exercise where I can show you how we can use AI both to summarize the video and then to create a new video from that that is one of these faceless videos using stock video footage. Then we'll talk about whether this is a good idea that is going to make things much better for creators or going to make YouTube more polluted with videos that don't mean much. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so here I have a long video where Dr. Andrew Huberman interviews another doctor, Dr. Crawford, about female hormone health, fertility, and vitality. And this video here is over three and a half hours long. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna simply copy this URL. I'm gonna bring it over here to BARD. I'm gonna use the YouTube extension, and I'd like to actually force it to use YouTube extension. And I'm gonna say, please provide a detailed summary of this video. I'm gonna pop in the URL from that video, and it's gonna go ahead and analyze the metadata, the transcript, and what's actually in the video, and it's going to provide me detailed information here. And so I'm then going to select all this here I'm going to come over to another site. This is one of several sites. This is one called invideo.io, and I'm going to paste that information in, and I'm going to tell it I need a YouTube explainer. Actually, I guess I didn't need to do that part. I'm going to say I need a 10-minute video. I'm going to just paste in all that kind of good stuff there, and I'm going to say that I would like to have a female's voice, and I'm going to have one. I think it's often good to have a British voice, so I'll use a young female British voice. I could add, choose to add subtitles or not, and then I can choose to put in watermarks. This is actually going to be watermarked as well for all the stock video footage because I haven't paid for the premium subscription yet. And now I'm going to click on generate a video. It's going to come back and prompt me for just a few more things, I think, and then we'll be able to actually have it create a new video that summarizes all the content or should summarize very closely the content that's in that very long video. While we're waiting for this video to come back, let's talk about what this means. Is this a great way for creators, like perhaps Dr. Huberman would like to use this, to be able to provide an alternative short, in this case 10-minute video, about the contents of a much longer video, make it more accessible to those people that want to access the information but don't need to watch that long of uh, a detailed explanation. They're not interested in the minutia, so to speak. Or is this a way for people to clone and rip off his content? Because here I am creating a video. I have not invested any time in learning about this subject. I have not spent years and years getting a PhD in neuroscience or uh, uh, becoming a medical doctor and being able to develop that expertise or reading papers to develop that expertise. I'm instead kind of stealing their expertise and being able to create my own video of that subject. So is this going to just lead us down a chasm of uh, kind of uh, the weight of too much information, too much repeating information, just kind of collapsing the internet into a useless pile of junk? Maybe. So what do you think? Please put your ideas, your comments, your questions, your opinions in the comment section below. I'd be very curious to hear what you have to say, and I will speed this up just a little bit so you don't have to hear me prattle on while this video is actually created. Okay, and we're back. That was about 15 minutes of waiting. I did have to click one little area to make it go forward, and now I have my video. Have you ever wondered how female hormones affect fertility and vitality? This is the question that we are going to explore today, and who better to guide us than Dr. Natalie Crawford, 
a renowned expert in obstetrics and gynecology, reproductive endocrinology and infertility. Dr. Crawford also holds a degree in nutrition science. Her expertise is not just academic, but also personal, as she shares from her own experiences as a woman and a doctor. Now, let's delve into the world of hormones. These are vital chemical messengers that travel around our bodies, influencing many different processes. For women, hormones play a key role in regulating our menstrual cycles, our ability to conceive, and our overall health and vitality. They are... Okay, so one of the things I should mention is that that video, when it um, was being processed, there was a little message that said, hey, you should be thinking about editing this because there can be hallucinations or there can be errors. But you can see here very quickly, in about 20 minutes, I was able to pair create a summarization of the content of a very long video, and then I was able to actually produce a video based on that. And I could have even taken out the part about the particular doctor that was being interviewed and just have this be about female vitality and hormones and such like that. So I'm doing this just as an exercise, not to say that this is what we need to do and flood the YouTube and the rest of the internet with videos that are summarizing somebody else's videos. I think that's probably a bad idea, but I just want to put this out there and see what you thought about it. Any technology that is actually meaningful can probably be used for bad purposes as well as good. And this is going to be something that YouTube is going to have to deal with in a serious way. As I mentioned before, please put your comments below. I want to hear your opinion. And if you've made it to the end of one of my videos, you're part of an elite crowd and you should definitely subscribe.